what a fantastic city, what a boxing city, and we are so pleased to be back for this monster show. It's a massive night on Saturday at the Motor Point Arena. It just kickstarts what is a fabulous February for Boxer and for Sky Sports. I think probably the best start to a new year I can remember, and the teams are so excited. Khan Brook, two weeks on Saturday, Josh Taylor, Jack Catterall, a week after that in Glasgow, but we all kick off here. Two fantastic main attractions with Chris Eubank Jr. against Liam Williams, and Clarissa Shields against Emma Cozin. That press conference will come up shortly after this, but we had to have one with the card because it is a tip-top card delivered to you by promoter Ben Shalom. Ben. Adam, um, I've not stopped smiling all morning. Um, on October the 2nd, we made a commitment not only to boxing, to women's boxing, to the trade, to trying to grow the sport, trying to make it more accessible, trying to make the biggest fights possible on Sky, trying to make the biggest British grudge matches on Sky. And we always took care of the full card. And I think, you know, Saturday night has something for everyone. We've got Caroline Dubois, Clarissa Shields, and, you know, girls at the top of their game. We've then got Steve Robinson, who's almost the everyday heavyweight. Um, we saw him in Newcastle. He'll come now to Cardiff. And the British heavyweight scene is, is bubbling right now. And so to have Steve on this card is, is a big deal. But the welterweight division features heavily on this card. Um, we just signed Florian Marku and Chris Congo. There's a huge amount of opportunity within that division. On Saturday, we'll see Samuel Amwe take on Connor Walker in a 50-50 fight for the English title. Whoever wins that has huge opportunities ahead of them, whether with Florian, whether with Congo. There's Josh Kelly as well. And Chris Jenkins, you know, maybe one of the most unlucky boxers in it that I can remember. To give him his opportunity now in his hometown in, in, in Wales, we, we just couldn't, we couldn't miss that opportunity. And he fights a world-class athlete in Indongo. And so everything is on this card, but one thing that we had to make sure was this is a card for Wales. We've not been to Cardiff. I don't think Adam can remember the last time we came to Cardiff. And Rhys Edwards is a name that has just been on everyone's lips in the small hall circuit. He's been pushed to me over and over again. And now he, he finds his opportunity at 11 and 0, a 21-year-old, trains with Gary Lockett. And... I think this is the perfect opportunity for him to, to become on the world stage. So, as I say, it's got everything this card, Adam. I can't wait. Um, and I can't wait for the Saturday night. Yeah, as Ben said, it's been a long time since we've been here. And we've got a rich history on Sky of Welsh boxing, going back to Robbie Regan and the days with Barry Jones, Steve Robinson, the Cinderella man, Joe Calzaghe, of course, Nicky Piper, Enzo Macronelli, who'll be joining us at ringside. There's so many, Nathan Cleverly, huge fighters, Gavin Reese, Bradley Price. It's a who's who. It's a special place for us. And it's the HQ, of course, of the British Boxing Board. So we're delighted to be in Cardiff. And we've got a sprinkling of uh, heavyweight stardust for you as well. Down at the, uh, the table down here is an extraordinarily good heavyweight fighter. And we managed to, uh, to get him onto the show at quite short notice. We want to see more of him. He had that terrific fight with Tyson Fury. Apart from that, he's undefeated and a real threat in the heavyweight division still. I'm going to introduce Otto Wallen for a, a couple of words. I know he's delighted to be here in Britain. Yeah, thank you so much. That was a nice presentation. Uh, I'm really happy to be here in Cardiff in Wales. I fought in England as an amateur, but I haven't fought in the UK as a pro. So it's nice to be here because I know the fighting fans are really good here everybody says it's the best in the world so i'm happy to be here and everybody's being so friendly and nice it's it's really really nice for us and me and the team so we're happy i'm i'm glad to be back in the ring i haven't fought in a year so it's nice to get a fight now shake up some rust and <clears throat> handle my business but my opponent he has a bad record but he's a good fighter and i feel like he's been robbed a bunch of times so nobody i can underestimate but i'm sharp i'm ready We've had good training, so I'm just delighted to get back in the ring and handle my business. It's great to see you, Otto, and you're right. He is a decent fighter. He's a tough boy. Camille Sokolovsky, uh, a word from you about this uh, opportunity on such a, a big night and taking on 
uh, such a good fighter in Otto Wallen. Yes, thank you for giving me a good opportunity. A very short notice, but anytime, anywhere, any place, who? Sokolowski. So uh, Otto Wallen is a very good fighter, uh, but Saturday I have one direct. Go to ring and fight and give him good fight. No respect in Saturday, nothing. Just stay on and fight. Great stuff. We can't wait for that uh, heavyweight battle. Uh, down right in front of me uh, is a young man with real ambitions. He's a, a Eubank, of course. There's the pressure on the shoulders. Uh, it's a tight-knit group, as we know. We've got Chris, uh, main event, with all the pressure on him. He takes it in his stride. Harlem, lovely guy and uh, unbeaten in 12 and ready to... Uh, to, to begin his big journey now. And uh, I was talking to him yesterday, and I think he believes with some momentum and regularity, it can be a big couple of years ahead. Harlem, welcome uh, to the show. How excited are you about uh, appearing both on this card and uh, alongside your cousin? Thanks very much. Uh, first off, I want to say a big thank you to Wasserman Boxing and the Sowlin brothers. Uh, thanks for getting me on this card. This is a dream come true for me um, to fight alongside my cousin who inspired me to get into boxing, um, it's 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 a big marker for me. It's one of my one of my dreams to share the card with him. I grew up watching him, and to now fight on his undercard, this is a big milestone in my career. What do we expect uh, against Viriel Simeon, who we've known for a long time? He was a great amateur, wasn't he? And it's given Scott Quigg and others uh, plenty to think about over the years. I think he's the right fight for you at this moment in your career. Yeah, great fight. He's an experienced fighter. Um, like you say, amateur pedigree. He was in the 2004 Olympics. And I need this, these kind of tests at this stage now to develop me as a fighter and get that, that real ring experience against credible opponents. Thanks, Harlan. We wish you well. Uh, as Ben said, a really interesting matchup for the English welterweight championship. Um, really good fight, this, so don't miss it. Uh, bringing plenty of fans, I'm sure, from the Midlands, is the challenger, Connor Walker. Connor, I bet you uh, you can't wait for this one and a chance to become the English champion. Yeah, absolutely buzzing. Um, I just want to say a massive thank you to Sky um, and Boxer for putting me on. I've always sort of uh, watched these um, press conferences and fights and dreamed, I've only dreamed about getting, getting to this stage and, um, and to make it even better, it's English title. Um, cracking fight. A big respect to Samuel Antwi for taking the fight, but um, in my, my eyes, it's a big mistake because uh, I'm coming to take that title and rip it off him. Lovely words, and it's a pleasure to have you on the, uh, on the stage, and we wish you well with your opportunity of becoming English champion. But in his defence, the champion, Samuel Antwi from Stockwell, uh, good to have you uh, on the card, Samuel, and I bet you're looking forward to this fight because plenty of people in the trade are. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you, uh, Mr. Smith and uh, Sky as well for putting this fight on uh, this massive platform. Um, we'll, we've been in camp for the longest time now, so we're, we're ready to go. You know, uh, Saturday is going to be fireworks. Uh, we're the English champion for a reason. We've had mandatories turn down the fight uh, multiple occasions. And on Saturday, he's going to find out why people don't want to fight um, the English champ. Thank you, Samuel. That's the, the bottom half up at the top table. Well, there's uh, some real talent on this table at different weights and different stages of their careers as well. Let's start with heavyweight Steve Robinson. We had so much fun up in Newcastle. It was uh, great to be there, a fantastic night. Obviously, Chris was on, Huey Fury, Savannah with that brilliant performance. But maybe in a way, we saved the best till last and you got that live slot at the end and you didn't disappoint. Uh, it's a great story. How far can we go, Steve, with it? Just appreciate everything that <clears throat> Sky and Boxer put us on um, at a peak time. Give us that opportunity and giving us the opportunity at the day. <clears throat> um, obviously, everything that's happening is still so surreal and I'm enjoying every moment of it. And I'm a big believer if, you know, if you can, if you want to do something, you can do it. It's only your own mental, mental head that can stop you from doing something and I can, you know, I believe in myself and my team believe in us that we can go as far as, you know, we need to go to get to the top of the heavyweight division. And it's such a cracking division, isn't it? At all different levels. Obviously, we 
we wait for Tyson Fury and Dillian White and Usyk and AJ and, 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 and are right up there. But all the way through, it's, it's a huge stacked amount of talent. I see Daniel Dubois down there, a fantastic fighter, and he could go on to become a world champion. There's so many opportunities for you big boys, aren't there? Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a fantastic time to be around the heavyweight division. Um, you know, but I'm not looking past Saturday. I'm not looking, you know, past Shane and looking, you know, I, I, I'm not looking to the next fight. I'm, I'm looking for this fight and get that out of the way and then we, we can talk about where we'll go from there. He's not looking past you, Shane. What are you going to bring to the, the party on Saturday night in this heavyweight battle? Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Sky Sports and Boxer for having me on. Um, on this great undercard. And I'm going to do my best. Training's gone good. But um, I'm hoping to take that off away from him Saturday night. And we go from there. Thanks very much, Shane. Let's uh, get to my left. There's a, a stable here under Gary Lockett's Watchful Eyes. He was a wonderful fighter as, as well back in the early days of Sky. What a, a tremendous left hook he had. A very intense trainer, a very good trainer. And he looks after this pair. Let's start with Reese Edwards. As Ben said earlier, one of the most exciting prospects anywhere in the UK. Undefeated in 11. Brilliant amateur. We watched him at the workout yesterday. He's got speed. He's got a smile. There's something about you, Reese. Uh, how, uh, how much are you looking forward to being on this bill back in Wales? I mean, it, it's a dream come true, isn't it? Uh, yeah, definitely. It's um, such a great show to be a part of. Obviously, I'd like to thank Sky Sports and Boxer for allowing me this opportunity to showcase my talent on the biggest stage. And um, I I'm obviously excited to be on the Williams undercard. We was in the same amateur gym, but I've never ever boxed on the same show as him. So I'm, I'm very excited for it. We're in with Ruslan Aberchek. And for people that haven't seen you or don't know you, and I think you are a, a wonderfully sort of best-kept secret, secret type of fighter, um, just explain what you will bring to the uh, professional game. I, I think I've just got a little bit of flair about me. I've got fast hands, um, good footwork, and a, and a good boxing a good boxing brain. So just, just expect a good, solid performance. And before I come to your stable, mate, let's just shoot down to the other end of the table and welcome uh, wonderful fighter Julius Indongo, who's uh, mixed it with the very, very best Terence Crawford. I mean, it doesn't get much bigger than that. Beat Ricky Burns as well up in Glasgow on one of our shows. Julius, welcome back to Britain. It's great to see you. How excited are you about this? It's really, I suppose, at this stage of your career, make or break fight with, uh, with Chris Jenkins. Yeah, it's a, it's quite good and it's a privilege for me to be here back to UK. So uh, it will be honor and I would be love to to step up with a young fresh again and see how the progress will be. So I'm quite good and ready for this fight and I've prepared enough. And uh, there will never be other excuse to say, or oh, I don't judge nobody. So all I give out tonight on Saturday night, just I'm just wishing all anybody to turn up and have a positive mind that to be a grateful night. Yeah. It was a pleasure to have you in Scotland. Welcome to Wales, Julius. Good to see you here. Chris Jenkins, as Ben said earlier as well, one of the most unlucky fighters, I think, in British boxing. Domestic champion, of course. I think many of us felt he could have gone on to bigger and better things. It's been a, a tough last two or three years, Chris. I know it's been hard for you, but you've, you've knuckled down and uh, you've got yourself ready. You're always in good shape. And this is a big fight for you, isn't it? Um, first of all, thank you to Boxer and Sky Sports for giving the opportunity. Um, and like you said there now, it's a massive opportunity for me now to fight the uh, former unified world champion in Julius Ngongo. And, you know, people might say he might have lost more recently than he should have, but the people he's lost to, Terence Crawford, Progress, and other fighters, they, they know mugs, you know, so... I've got my work cut out for Saturday, but with Guy Lockett and the work plan we've been doing, I just think that um, I should be fresh. I can fight night. So plenty left, but and a win here can can catapult you again. Yeah, most most definitely. I think um, I still do belong up there, but to get a good win now on Saturday, that will prove then that I do actually believe that I should be where the top boys are in Britain and hopefully a good win Saturday and then we can move on and see what other big fights are out there because I'm at a stage of my career, like Julius himself will probably agree, that uh, we don't want to be fighting any journeymen or disrespect to them, but 
you know, we won the big fights and, you know, just entertain the fans. Yeah, it's a really enticing clash and with the Welsh faithful behind you, I think it's going to be some night early on as we build up to the, the main event. But the main attraction, I think, on the, on the undercard is the professional debut of one of the fighters that Ben and I both believe is going to go on to enormous things in the professional game. She's super talented. She's from a fighting family, of course. And uh, I think her style is just going to be incredible for the pros. Caroline Dubois, before I come to you, um, I want to go to Ben first about how important it is for you, how excited you were to sign Caroline. We were going to have the debut at the back end of last year. It's happening now at a time where women's boxing is just getting bigger and bigger. And uh, I know how happy you are about it. Yeah, it, it feels like yesterday um, when, when Caroline came into the office and she was the number one target. Um, we spoke a lot about Caroline and she's 21 years old. She was 21 last month and... I think for anyone that meets her, I think immediately you see why we're so excited about her. She's got an amazing personality. She's, she's an ambassador for the sport that can go take the sport from strength to strength. And uh, as I say, we're so excited to have her. She's with Shane McGuigan now as well. She's the mo one of the most talented female fighters he has ever seen, if not the most talented. And uh, yeah, I think she is the diamond of the sport. And uh, to have her debuting on a massive card like this on Saturday with her hero, Clarissa Shields, as well. I'm hoping she can learn a lot of Clarissa over the coming days. And, uh, yeah, it's, this, is, this is one we'll remember because this is a debut of a, of a future superstar. And to have her here today is, a, yeah, it's a, it's a dream come true for her, but also for us. We really do believe this is the start of something very, very special. And for everybody at us at Sky as well, we are super, super excited about Caroline Dubois. Caroline, let's have a, a few words. You've been waiting for the, the pro debut for, for a number of months now. I know you've been uh, working hard with Shane in the, uh, in the gym. You've got the family here to support you. And, and what a setting, what a stage to, to go, the green light for go. I know, it's crazy. You know, um, it's been a long time coming, obviously. I was meant to be fighting last year, but, you know, I feel like everything happens for a reason. And now to be making my pro debut on such a mega card is just insane. I'm just grateful, and I just want to go out there and perform, really. We've seen what you can do in the amateurs. Uh, very unlucky not to medal, obviously, in, in Tokyo. But you, you turn pro under Shane McGuigan, who is, is so excited about you. What do you think you will bring to the professional game. You're a southpaw, you're quick, you know, you've got power. Um, is it all gonna be too much for certainly the preliminary opposition as you, you make your march through? Um, I feel like I just need to go out there and perform, you know. I suppose to say now that everything that you said is what I bring, you know, to the game, but I feel like just going out there performing and how, how I perform is what, what you would see, you know, you're gonna see a lot and I just can't wait to go out there and box. Your heavyweight brother down there, Daniel, a really good fighter, obviously, in his own. Has he been a massive inspiration to you? Is, I'm sure he'll get nervous, won't he, on Saturday night? I don't know. We'll have to see. You know, he's not very, like, he's, he's always been calm and relaxed. He's like the rock of the family, so it's good to have him there. And I'm just happy him and everybody in my family's turned up and going to be supporting, obviously, as an amateur. You're always boxing away different tournaments, different countries, and people can't turn up. And now they're all here. It's going to be mega, and I can't wait to just perform. You just had a very important birthday at 21, so that the future is so bright for you, Caroline. I'm not putting any pressure, but Savage Dan did say on the, the live stream yesterday that you're going to be a multi-weight champion. Is that the aim for you as you start off? For sure, you know, there's so much to achieve in female boxing, you know. It's a good thing and a bad thing that how, how fast we have to move, but if we're ready for it, it's going to be, it's a blessing. And I see myself going through the weights and I just want to, you know, perform and go out there and, and, and make people excited for me to see me box. So that's, that's what I'm looking forward to. Finally, it's a, it's a big show on Saturday. It's going to be tough to steal it, I guess, with your hero Clarissa Shields on with Eubank Williams as well. But what do you want people to go back and think about Caroline Dubois on Sunday morning, what they've seen? Yeah, I want them to remember me. I want them to think, wow, she was good. She was talented. You know, I don't want them to remember how she was a good female boxer or just someone that, that was there, you know, she was all right. I want them to think she was a good boxer, period. I want them to remember that, you know, I put in a good performance and someone to look out for in the future, hopefully. Fantastic. From... 
Caroline Dubois, who will meet Vida Masakedi on Saturday night. Uh, don't miss that or any of this. Sky Sports, uh, of course, Saturday night. It's a fantastic show. We will be getting the other two rather large fights uh, up here uh, momentarily in a few minutes when we just break. We'll have some uh, time for photos and one-to-ones with everybody. But from Ben and I, it's a, it's a great card, isn't it? It's incredible. It's almost too good. I can't remember a fight night like this on Sky Sports fight night, Saturday night, not box office. You know, we've, uh, this, is, this is a big statement from, from Sky, to be honest, to put fights like this on, on the main channel with the supporting undercard. It's, it's a special event. And bringing it to Cardiff, which is one of the biggest fight cities in the UK, but has sort of missed boxing for a very, very long time. And they're going to see one of their own in, in probably the biggest British grudge match I can remember in the past 12 months, 18 months. So... Everything's set up for, for Saturday, and uh, it's great to be here. Thank you to Sky. Thank you to the promoters that have worked with us on this, and uh, we'll see you on Saturday. Thanks very much.